name? My name's Peter William Cornack. Where do you live? McClellanville, South Carolina. Is it special to you? It's a great little spot. Um, it's a small village right on the intercoastal waterway. When you pull off the highway, you know you're home. When I first got here, I came, I moved here from California to do soft shell crabs with the crew of guys I was talking about. And we did that first season, and I crabbed a little bit and mm -hmm. oystered and clammed. And eventually, I met my future wife, and we ended up buying T.W. Graham's, the country store at that point, and converted it into a restaurant. We did that for 13 years, and after we sold the restaurant, I went back to the creek. Julie McClellan. I'm a clam farmer, but I do oyster and two, and we have two leases here, off of McClellanville and Buckhall. I had a stingray barb one time, about this long, stuck into my arm. And a stingray barb, if you've ever looked at one, they're like an arrow, it has little jagged teeth so they don't pull out. So I grabbed it and yanked on it real hard and it didn't come out. So my partner, Irvin Ashley, came over to where I was and he kind of looked at me and he took it and yanked it out. But that was quite painful. What is your name? Caesar Graham. Can you spell that for me? C-A-E-S-A-R. What is your profession? Broken on the dock. And if they get tired working the shrimp, well then they come here. Well, it's fun, but you know, laugh long. That's something I don't think you won't do. Hi. Um, what is your name? Kim Livingston. Mm -hmm. I'm Jeff Massey. So I'm a librarian, and I work at this our dock. I'm a commercial fisherman, and we run the dock here. We had some crabbers who were out one day, and there was a really bad lightning storm, and, and I was in here running things, and all of a sudden, the store comes open, and this guy comes in, and he's breathing real heavy, and he stands right in front of my window, and he looks at me through the window, and he just goes, ah! I'm like, are you okay? And he said, we were coming back in the boat, and it got struck by lightning, and it knocked the fellow driving the boat unconscious. He was totally out and the guy in the front got knocked out for about 10 seconds and he woke up and the boat was still running full speed. Chip racing. So you're a shrimper? Yeah. And this is the craziest year I ever remember. I've never seen anything like this. Why? Because there was no shrimp when we usually catch shrimp and uh, at the end, it turned on, shrimp coming down the beach from way up north. If it wasn't for those shrimp, we wouldn't have done anything. Georgia Tisdale. We shrimped, first year we went out. We finally had the boat ready and we wanted to go. And You know, we didn't have a whole lot of experience, didn't have all this equipment. So there were three boats, we being one of them, that were going out and going rock shrimping offshore. Well, so... <laughs> That was our introduction. And so we took, I don't know how long it took us to get out there, but as soon as we got out there, we realized we were in a depression, which was coming and we didn't know it back, you know, now you know everything that goes on, but back then it wasn't quite that much information out there. And so we, as soon as we got out there, we anchored up and the line broke and then we anchored again and we, oh, it was a mess. So we spent the night doing this, going up and down Three boats were out there, we being one of them. And so we came back the next day, we came back. It took forever. When we would turn in to shore, the, boat, the three of us would do like this. And you see these outriggers? When one boat would go down, you couldn't see the outriggers. The waves were that high. And so then we turned, I mean, it took us 24 hours to get back to Charleston. So I, my adventure in shrimping, I did, I, all I could see was double. When I got home, I went home, I said, I'm never getting on that boat again. My occupation is a dock worker. I unload shrimp boats, oyster boats. We go out and collect clams. Well, they're out there. That's their home. You know, we're evading their place. It's like going to somebody's house. We're in, the, we're in the shark's house. So, you know, you have to be careful with the sharks. The octopus are out there. Crabs are out there. They'll take your finger off, you know. You've seen a stone crab, right? They got the big claws. They, they snap your finger. It's, you know, it's a fun job. Makes you not want to work in the water. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Well, that's not what it's supposed to. You're supposed to be enjoying this kind of weather. This is what happens in McCollumville.